Welcome back everyone, my name is Chanel Dragonius and excuse me for there being no gameplay. I need to leave uh, a bit sooner for something a bit earlier than I thought today. I didn't really have any time to record any gameplay so I thought I would just get straight into it and get onto my thoughts about Warmonger. I personally think the reveal itself was poorly executed. They had a lot of shitty excuses for everything. Uh, like uh, I appreciate they have a reason for why Warmonger speaks English, but I just don't think it was the right choice. However, I can understand why they did it. They have a lot of problems due to COVID and they just can't do much. Another thing is that uh, I would say Warmonger's animations are really well done for them most probably not being able to do much motion capture. Her lights seem satisfying to hit but her heavies just don't have that power behind them. I don't feel like I'm hitting someone with a damn Zweihander. And I, I, I think that's a damn shame and I personally think they, well I hope they will improve the animations down the line once everything with COVID is a bit more died down so they can actually motion capture. But I, I have to congratulate them on the executions. The executions look damn satisfying. The animation is sick. I think they did a really good job with them. But the, the thing is, her moveset in its entirety, it, it has everything. I can't really see a weakness in her kit, except that her lights are quite reactable and easier to parry. I would however say that it is her feignable unblockable dodge attack is going to be a game changer in the minion. <laughs> Speaking of the minion, holy shit her feet. I'm not one to jump to overpowered but you could see in the video her four feet alone if it activates on everyone, you don't have a second to get away, half of your health bar will be instantly deleted. I think it's ridiculously overtuned. I think the feat itself is great because it, she she can be a real anti-gank monster, but the, the punish for just ganking a warmonger and her activating her four feet is just, it, it it's too big. Imagine... Uh, joining in with half your health, both teams are breaking you and to kill this warmonger, she activates her forefeet. Well, oopsie, too bad for you, you die. Moving on to her armor sets and weapons. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing through this. I don't have as much time to really sit down and talk to you. I will do a more in-depth breakthrough, I think, Monday. So this is kind of a smaller video, but uh, her armor sets are some of the best I've seen in the game, if not the best. They did a really good balance of uh, real armor sets and fantasy armor sets. And personally, I, I think they did a damn good job. Especially with the improved versions of Apollyon's armor. They all, they all look sick. I cannot wait to play her. Speaking of her. She's gender locked. And I have to get this out of the way. If you don't like Warmonger. Because she's gender locked. You never liked Warmonger to begin with. That, that I just had to get out of the way. I'll get more in depth of why in the next video. But seriously, if you hate Warmonger because she's gender locked, 
you just don't like the character. And for the final topic, uh, weapons. The the Zweihunders look they look sick, man. I I personally think almost all of her blades look sick. Her guards are a bit of uh, some are mediocre, but a lot of them look great. And I think the uh, the weakest part is the handle. I think a lot of the handles uh, don't look like uh, I don't know how to explain it. They don't look like a Zweihander build, and I know it's not realistic, but there's a lot of them just didn't suit my style. I think they were well designed, but it just didn't suit me. But overall. Uh, I, I I still think the reveal itself was pretty shit. I I wanted a fight demo. I wanted to see them play so I could get a bit more of a feel for what the character can actually do and combo into. And I think that it's a shame they couldn't. But one of my biggest problems is is that they said they were gonna explain how ornaments work on the Polyon. Apollyon Warmonger. Even I'm mixing it up right now. They said they were going to explain how they were going to work on her because it's different. And then they proceed to just not. And I think that's dumb. It's honestly just dumb. But to end this video on a happy note, I think Warmonger. Is the biggest love letter to the community they could have ever given. And that the season of tyranny is one of the best seasons. I've had the pleasure to play. And up until the next one. I've been Shadow Dagonius. And I'll see you guys next time.